in, in biomedical science, you have to bring drugs uh, to the patient. It's not just a, the bench in the factory. Now, for the physical sciences, it's an important component, especially in medical devices, in uh, other areas of technology. We built a brand new facility. My office is here now. This architecture was done by Miros Kurokawa, son of Japan, who unfortunately passed away before we opened the facility. I invited him to come and build my physical. This facility has a subway below. I can connect to the city. It's a swimming pool, have apartments, conference. It costs uh, $600 million. Again, for physical science, we are doing a continuum from blue sky to commercial. The key in physical science is more commercialization. And this is the data plan. The details are here and the industry. You know, fortunately for Singapore, we have a sizable uh, manufacturing sector. We have many companies, so it's easier for the physical science to collaborate with, unlike the medical science, which is fairly new. Now, the key to uh, research and development is not know-how, it's people. And for Singapore, from 2001, we have actually no history of science, unlike Japan, America. We started by building. So what I did was came up with a list of 100 scientists in the world that I wanted to kidnap. I use the word kidnap, means hire them. So I drew up the list with the help of Dr. Sidney Brenner, went around the world and actually kidnapped about 100 of them. These are the people, some of the key ones have been kidnapped 100% uh, of the time or 50% of the time. Now, bringing international scientists is only one approach. Second is you have to train your own people. So I came up with a plan in 2001 to train 1,000 PhDs from bachelor all the way to PhD, nine years of funding, and every year 100 of them. So the last batch was this year, just went out. The first batch to come home will be 2011. Now you look at it in the list. The young lady there is from Hong Kong. She did a pharmacy in London, UCR, top student every year, every subject. And she's now a PhD student at MIT, fifth year, bioengineering. The pair of twins, identical twins, they are doing genetics at Stanford PhD. The young boy sitting down there is doing his PhD in mathematics from Berkeley. His undergrad was Stanford. The Indian boys from India uh, is doing his PhD in augmented reality at Stanford. The young lady lying down there, she's doing a PhD in neuroscience focusing on glial cells. The young lady there was a, on the ladder, she's a Muslim lady. She did a PhD, she's now in Karolinska doing a postdoc. Now, Science must start young. So I came up with a plan to take young people aged as young as 15. Two, two of the young girls there. Young ladies from India. We brought her from India to Singapore aged 15. We financed her grade 9 all the way. She is now a medical student at Cambridge. Uh, the Vietnamese girl came at age of 15. We spotted them young. Came to Singapore, take our test. She is now uh, doing a medical training at uh, Imperial College. So we start at 18 all the way until they get a PhD and a postdoc. The young lady is a PhD in physics at MIT final year. Uh, she was Cornell GPA 4.1. These are the same batch. Young lady from Shanghai, she's a PhD in chemical engineering working on solar energy. Uh, Cornell GPA 4.1. The young lady from Hong Kong is there. The last young lady, she did a bachelor's in chemical engineering from uh, Illinois. GPA 4.0, she's a final year student in chemical engineering at MIT. Now, all those are new citizens. They get a passport from Singapore. I select them at 15. I gave them a bachelor's degree scholarship overseas. The top schools on their own application, there's no tie-up, no bribery of any university. They get the best of GPA for 3.8 minimum. Below 3.8, I don't fund them for the PhD. They go to the PhD with a Singapore passport. They are all Singaporeans. What's the obligation? When they finish their PhD, they come to Singapore for five years and they're free. They may go back to Vietnam, they may go back to China, it doesn't bother me. Someday the Minister of Science and Technology in Vietnam will be a Singaporean trained person. These are own Singaporeans. We are all over the world now. I won't go into the details. Now, in 2009, the financial crisis uh, was a major impact. As a small nation, we are totally export-oriented. So we have two responses. One, to take our national savings, $20 billion, to save jobs. So every company is given a subsidy to keep people so long as they are useful and employed, we subsidize their, their salary. Secondly, I provide just 20 billion. And my agency, which was created in 05, which I was responsible, provide funding to business. So I funded companies to the tune of $8 billion for loan guarantees. If they borrow from a bank, I guarantee 80%. I subsidize interest at 2.5%. Fortunately for our efforts, our unemployment last year was 2%. But we're looking ahead for the next 10, 15, 20, 25 years. We don't look at five years. The key is how do we build new capabilities, 
how do we develop new way to help enterprise development. My, so my key agency today is Spring, which is actually a very long name, Standards Productive Innovation, is to try to develop our own companies. These are details of the plan, I can give the details. Basically, it's a government blueprint to help the Minister of Finance uh, is in charge of this responsibility. The key is talent. And this is the details. The key is to bring knowledge to enterprise. You cannot just knowledge for knowledge sake. You cannot do blue sky for blue sky. End of the day, as a public agency, we have to get taxpayers' money to fund research. So we have to find economic outcomes. The details are leave it there. And our aim is to fund now. We started in 2001. Our GDP expenditure R&D was barely 2%. Our aim is to hit 3 and a half. The limit is not money, the limit is talent because money, we are well, we have no debt. We are well, we have about at least $300 billion of reserves. Now, the key for economy is not just look at big companies, but also all down the chain. Now, in Singapore, we are all coordinated. The agencies for science, which was my responsibility, Clinic Development, the agency for IE export, which is related to me in spring, and the agency for land. So, five agencies take care of the economic infrastructure and we'll coordinate together. When I was chairman of economic development, I called in all of them. So you need to have different bodies. One provides the space, one provides the trained personnel, one provides the export market, one provides foreign investments, and the key was trying to nurture our own. So you need that coordination. Now, the key for the next phase, which is now 2011 to 2015, is how to create uh, seed and nurture enterprises. So the idea of idea generation, proof of concept, so we are now funding proof of concept. I will fund uh, 150,000 US dollars for proof of concept for one, two years, and then proof of value of half a million US. The key is that government must provide development capital. Government is not involved in venture capital. Government provides development capital, I provide loans, I provide grants, I provide equity, but my equity is temporary. The moment the company is ready to go, I exit, I, they pay me an interest rate. Innovation, we give vouchers. I started a program uh, a year ago where I give small companies a voucher, cash voucher, that they can use to go to university, go to research centers, and buy uh, expertise, buy assistance. So it's cash. These are the centers innovations that I fund, and I don't run it myself. I put it in the universities, polytechnic, uh, research centers where I provide funding. So my job is being a sugar daddy, providing funding for people to build up cable, but they must serve companies. They are not there to do uh, academic training. They are there to serve companies. So the capabilities the university can be harnessed to provide enterprise support, provided someone gives them funding, and I fund them for five years. This is uh, the efforts on, and these are uh, the industry. The industries, I group them together in the clusters, and then I fund the industry cluster if there's a team leader for the next three to five years. Incubator, I fund incubators in universities, the polytechnic, again, I provide funding. I don't run any centers, I really choose, I pick and choose and fund them. And then intellectual property, again, we provide funding support. Now, so I end up talking about that. In 2009, the economy went down. It wasn't so bad. Original projection was minus three or five, but we survived. So this year, we are recovering. Thank you.